Okay, I'm realizing that I definitely forgot to film an intro. Sorry about all the background noise. I'm walking to class, but today I'm going to be doing a college morning routine. So just stay tuned and keep watching. Sorry, all of my videos start chaotic, but I'm going to class. So I'll see you guys in the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. out of the intro in hopefully i did hopefully i didn't forget but today is wednesday september 21st i believe and i have fashion school today i also have work but that's besides the point so i thought i would give you guys a college student morning routine type of vibe i know my hair is halfway done i'm literally trying to do it right now and i've been a natural girl for a few days now i've been a natural girl for like two weeks so there's like a lot of product in my hair but i'm still trying to make it work because you know just just my business i'm just trying to make it work until i have time to do my hair i've been very very busy i keep trying to make time for everything i need to do and it's just not working so yeah but i have a lot going on and a lot to talk to you guys about so let me just get started on my hair and then i'll be back because i do only have like 30 minutes before i need to leave i'm going for like a two bun look today i'm going to do my edges and all but I just wanted to show y'all like a little bit of progress, I guess. Okay, my hair is done. It's kind of giving like nothing, but you know, like I told y'all, this is what I'm working with until I can do my hair, not onto my makeup. If you guys want to see like a closer visual, it's really nothing. Okay, I just checked the time. It's currently 10. I have class at 11, but I do want to go to Dunkin' and get a drink. Hopefully I'll make it in time. But I just have to be ready in 30 minutes now, like actually 30 minutes and out the house because I have such a few things to do. I put the scarf on my edges for a few minutes, but um, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. Oh, this is supposed to be like chatty. Let me move you guys a little closer. Hi guys, you're like really close now. But I just put this scarf on my head for a few minutes, but I need to do my freaking makeup. And anyways, I got a new foundation. It's like more like a BB cream, which is what I was looking for, but I guess it was a foundation. And it's just the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in 620 Deep and has a dewy finish. I believe it's light to medium coverage, which is what I was looking for. And it's just like, this looks really good on my skin. But back to the topic of conversation. So, I'm a junior. If you don't know, if you're new here, I am a junior at Kent State University. And I am in the fashion merchandising program. And the older I get, well... The further I get along in the program, the more I love it. So I know I get a lot of questions about like fashion school and not even just like specifically on YouTube, but just in general. People ask me about fashion school and Kent is one of the top fashion schools, you know. And if you don't know, it is one of them. And it's not in New York, which makes it like easier for a lot of like really in really creative fashion people are part of the fashion community it makes it easier for people in the midwest and people who can't afford schools in new york to go to fashion school and get a quality fashion education i'm gonna take this scarf off just because i don't have like time to sit here and wait for it to dry it's dry enough it'll it'll have to work oh my god i have a little bit of eyelash glue on my eyelashes don't mind that i wear eyelashes every day don't judge me anyways but yeah fashion school is really great and if you're wondering about the program like to ask I'm very open about it. I know people ask me all the time, but like, it's really good and I definitely would recommend it to someone. I'm using the Symbiosis London Instant Perfecting Primer. I don't know, that came in my Ipsy bag, which I don't even get anymore, but it's actually pretty good. I usually use the Elf Putty Primer. So if you're looking for like a drugstore primer, that's the one I use and I really like it. But yeah, back to fashion school. Um, There is not much that I can tell you, like just right off the top of my head. But it is a very involved experience, if that counts. Like, it gives you the opportunity to be really involved in school. And this year, first of all, let me vent for a second. I graduated in 2020, which, if you don't know, is, like, right when COVID started. So I, this is, like, my first real college semester where I'm actually, like, on campus and doing things and going to class on campus. This is the first time I've done that while I've been in college this whole time. So it's just like really nice and new and fresh for me to be around so many people. Like I made so many new friends already. It's like the fifth week, but I have made friends and I've literally made friends with people who I've been like associates with like online. But now that we're all at school, it's nice to actually make 
friends. I do still have to work like full time, but you know, it's okay. I feel like I'm getting somewhere, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I'm getting somewhere with everything that I'm doing. I have a few businesses also that I'm working on. Sorry, my brain is just kind of all over the place. Like I don't, I'm just talking about everything at once. But more of the story, this school year has been really good so far. I'm starting with my foundation because I don't know, it's just easiest that way, I guess. Most of the time I start with my eyebrows, so this is like really unusual for me. But I did want to try it this way because this is how Arnell did her makeup for a really long time. If you guys know Arnell, Armand, and like Alyssa Ashley. Yeah. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera though because I don't feel like sitting here and actually dealing with them. So I'll be right back. Oh, I just remembered that I wanted to tell you guys like I have a lot of really good content coming. For one, I am going to be studying abroad. And studying abroad. I can say you have to study abroad, but they have a New York City program, which is the one I'm going to do in the summer. So I'll be vlogging a whole lot because then I'll really be like, you know, New York City fashion student, if you know what I'm saying. And on top of that, um, this year I have an internship and the lady who I'm working for does a lot of events. So hopefully I'll be able to vlog a little bit while she is, you know, while I'm with her, if you know what I mean. And I want to take you guys with me to quite a few events because they're so fun. I went to a fashion show by her and I loved it. And that is how I literally got involved in the internship. But also, if you have any questions about like internship and resume and anything like that, feel free to ask me. I feel like I'm just talking to no one. But if you have any questions, seriously, don't be shy. Ask them in the comments or whatever. And yeah, so those are the main things that I have going on right now. I want some concealer. I do want to go to work today, but... It's just like a little short shift, so hopefully my makeup will not look too bad by the time I get to work. I don't think it will. This makeup actually lasts quite a long time. See, this is my problem. Every time I do like a morning routine, I just get stuck and do my makeup for the longest time ever. Like ever. I'm just gonna do a few steps and then come back. How about that? But this is how it's looking so far. You can't really tell on camera how it looks in real life, because obviously it looks really bad on camera, but you'll see when I'm done in a few minutes. Okay, I finished my base mostly. You can't really tell, but whatever. I'm just gonna set it with this Urban Decay on our setting spray. It's like the sample size. I got it from Ulta. Just to try it out before I got it. No, I didn't get this from Ulta. I actually got this from Kohl's because there's a Sephora inside of Kohl's. Anyways, besides the point, let that dry. I look super washed out in this light. Like, is it because it's so close? I don't know why, but let that dry and i've been really obsessed with the d curl eyelashes lately if you know you know the girls know everyone knows and they're super short especially for me because i have big eyes so like i usually like my lashes pretty big and i still do but for a casual day like today going to school i'll be wearing these i'm gonna put them on sorry i keep looking down i'm just like trying to clean up all my makeup mess if you want to know the products i use i can just tell you to set my whole face i use the ColourPop pretty fresh you see that you can't see that. Anyways, it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh like um, face powder. It's a pressed powder. I use it on my whole face. And then I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder under my eyes. I use the, what is this, Black Radiance. I've been using this forever. Like this is my holy grail, the OG True Complexion Contour Palette. And then I use the Juvia's Place Palette for my blush. And that's about it. Yeah, and I use the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And I'm gonna sweat on my eyelashes and then we're gonna head over and I'm gonna show you my outfit. Okay, my makeup is done. Makeup and hair done. I actually wanna put on a little bit more blush, but like, just off the actual blush brush, not dipped back into the pop or anything. Yeah, I love blush. I go crazy for blush. Anyways, I'm done. I put on my eyelashes. So these decurl. Um, also, don't mind my, um, first of all, my baby hairs are coming up already. Type for hair for you. But also, don't mind my eyebrows. I really need to do my eyebrows, like shape them and everything. And I just haven't had time yet, but. On to the next task. Okay, don't mind my like juicy couture bra that's underneath it. I really just had to put something underneath because I don't zip it all the way. But this is what I'm wearing today. This is my like juicy couture forever 21 jacket. Now keep in mind, it is gonna be hot today. It's gonna be like 86 degrees. So I have on a mini skirt. Mm -hmm. Give me today's outfit. All right, 
Now I just gotta go put on some shoes. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear, to be honest. Let's go see. I don't know. I'm like literally at a loss. Okay, so I figured out what shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear my Converse. I'm gonna try to show you guys. Shoes. You saw the mini skirt. You get the vibe. I'm gonna try to show you in the mirror if I remember. But it's literally, oh my God, what time is it? Actually, it's 1027. So, sorry, I gotta, I gotta text message. But it's 1027 and I need to leave. I'm trying to head to Duncan. I'm gonna be wearing a beautiful day today. This has been in my car for the longest time ever, but I really like how it smells. And I'm getting compliments on it. So if you know, you know, obviously it's kind of old. I'm not gonna lie. So I usually charge my devices. So I usually charge my devices before I go to class. So like I charge my computer and I charge both my phones, <laughs> my YouTube phone and my real phone. And I just pack up my little school bag. Let me show you guys my school bag. This is how she looks. She's literally from TJ Maxx because I had to get it at the last minute. School had already started and it was literally, I think the first day of school and I went to get this bag. So this is what we're working with. Oh, and I always put my lip gloss on last, like when I'm leaving out, because I don't want it to wear off and be a waste. That is that so far. You guys, a little visual. I feel like this looks super shiny, like on camera, but it's not really like that kind of, sh it's not shiny in real life. I hate the way that looks, actually. I think I'm not bringing my book. This is the book I'm reading right now. I'm reading again, bitches. Um, it's called Five Total Strangers. I got it from Target, but I also saw it at Books A Million, so I'm gonna assume that it's like a well-known book. But yeah, I'm actually about to head out. So I'm gonna pack up and leave. Cause I'm just wasting time. Last time I wore a mini skirt, it literally kept lifting up so much. But I actually trust this mini skirt and it doesn't usually lift. So give you guys a visual. Mm -mm. I'm about to get in the car and go to Duncan now. I swear the people who are walking in these crosswalks do not care about their life. Dang, this car is on my ass. Anyways, I'm going to Duncan right now. I kind of want a, a, a matcha. I don't know if I want a matcha or if I want like a pumpkin spice. I don't know what I want to be honest, but I want something. And this car needs to get off my ass. I hate that. Don't you hate when a car is on your ass when you're driving? Like I'm not going to slow. The speed limit is 25. I'm trying to get these cute videos for y'all and I'm literally like kind of driving like a maniac. Ugh. Okay, sorry about the angle, but a couple things you need to know about a college town. For one, the Dunkin' and Starbucks lines are always way too long. You'll never get your drink, especially not when your class starts in 20 minutes. So I won't be getting anything to drink today, it looks like. But I'm gonna, um, I have a water, so as long as you keep water on you, you'll be fine. I'm gonna walk to class now and take you guys with me. It's like a, it's like a six minute walk. It's like a five minute drive from my house. So this campus is very convenient, I'll tell you that much. But traffic sucks like these people cannot drive i don't know what it's about but nobody you can drive it's so annoying but yeah we're about to go to class so it's a little car vision it's kind of low-key a lot of people walking on campus today i don't see any right now but over where i parked i did see walking i forgot my airpods today and i always bring my pods on this walk so i'm walking in silence 